She's a bad mama jamma, yeah. Just as fine as she can be, yeah. She's a bad mama jamma, yeah. Just as fine as she can be, yeah. Her body measurements are perfect in every dimension she's got a figure that shows enough draws attention she's poetry in motion a beautiful sight to see i get so excited viewing her with a man to me she's real oh she's bad she got all the curves a man likes. Look at her, she's real. Oh, she's right. She got all the curves a man likes. Look at her, she's a bad mama jamma. Yeah. Just as fine as she can be. She's a bed, my pajama, yeah. Just as fine as she can be. Her body measurements are perfect in every dimension. She got a figure that shows the draws attention. She's poetry in motion, a beautiful sight to see. I get so excited viewing her with a man in me. She's real. Oh, she's right. She got all the curves a man likes. Frank Nitty! Two T's! Two T's! Like two titties. What up, though? What it do? What it be like? What up, though, my peeps? I know everybody been waiting on me to speak. Say some shit about motherfucking my days. You know? Drawing me back, motherfucking, to when I was motherfucking serving time. You know, motherfucking Navy wise, county wise, and living that street life, motherfucking twisted up, caught up. Cause we all been there, even if you've been on top. You done hurt somebody, dog, to stay that way. So you can relate, and maybe not. But I'm gonna still spit my shit. And drop it like it's hot. Frank Nitty. Woo woo woo. Let's spit it, baby. <laughs> Navy days, huh? Brig days. Motherfucking county days. Feeling like a fucking slave. Man. Made me back the fuck up. I had enough, you know what I'm saying, of that motherfucking stupid stuff. I already know, man, people don't motherfucking um, really care to hear me all the time. But sometimes, man, you need somebody to remind you exactly what I needed somebody to remind me of. It's us that's holding each other back, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, as meaning is you, not no one else. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying like, you know, 
um, politically or sociology, our social life or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't being held back. I ain't saying nothing like that. I'm just saying as far as mental, man. Letting somebody lock your mind somewhere where you don't need to be, dog. Instead of prospering. Instead of motherfucking dreaming still about your journey that you motherfucking want to create for yourself. And being on that path and taking steps towards that path, man. You know what I'm saying? The Navy was that, that journey for me, dog. It was that next step for me, man. You know? And motherfucking, when I came back to the cut, you know, the hood, it what motherfucking um, finished raising me, dog. I got school, you know? Like I said, you gonna learn, man. And I'm just blessed to motherfucking still be here, dog. You know, I ain't rich. I ain't hurting. You know what I'm saying? I'm a soldier, man. You know? I've been like that since day one, man. My parents raised me to be a warrior, man. My dad used to always, my daddy used to always send me out, man. Telling me I'm a warrior, man. Pumping me up, man. Letting me know my scars were nothing but, you know, signs of a warrior, man. You know, that I won't let nobody hold me back. Or, or, or create motherfucking a wall that motherfucker I can't get through, you know? Because sometimes we keep hitting that same wall, man, and we thinking that somebody blocking us. And it's us, dog. That's my journey, man. You know? And now I understand when I'm being held back or I'm not prospering, it's me. I'm making them decisions, you know? I'm not letting no one else make the decisions. I'm making the decisions. So I made a decision to go into the service, dog. And uh, good experience, bad experience. It was a life-changing experience for a young cat, man. You know, a brother that never, I never left home before, dog. They snatched me out of my mama, my mama's house. Three, four in the morning, dog. Snatched me out of my mama's house, dog. I ain't even know I was gonna get in that bitch, cause I scored so low. But this motherfucker, uh, recruiter, he still popped me up in that bitch. Cause uh, I know he knew I wanted to go somewhere, but at the same time, you know, they got paid for that shit, dog. You know? I just don't wanna make him sound like an asshole, asshole. But he was black. So I went straight from there, dog, to downtown. They had me motherfucking go through their little um, medical um, routine that they put you through, dog. You know? They put you through this medical routine, man. And like you all lined up and shit. And, and you all motherfucking chairs and shit. A bunch of y'all, dog. And you go through floor by floor and shit, through your little medical check and shit. And then at the end, you get sworn in. And from being sworn in, you went to a hotel that was like right across the street from downtown, um, whatever they call that, recruit station or, or um, um, military motherfucking um, station or whatever they call that, man. But um, from there, man, I got flew to motherfucking San Diego, man. California. Damn show did. Flew to San Diego, California, dog. Hit that bitch motherfucking dead motherfucker with a, I don't know, man. It was probably about, I don't know, a good motherfucking 10, 10 to motherfucking 14 of them other motherfuckers with me and shit. And when we got there, dog, after waiting so long up in the motherfucking airport and shit, like half of the motherfucking day for niggas to come snatch you up. So you had a little time to have some fun up in there. Whatever little fun you gonna have. Got to the motherfucking base. Fun time was over, nigga. That motherfucker was trying to scare the dog shit out of your young ass. 
I just turned 18. You dig? Man, I got stories, man. Before I even went in there, I'm going to save it, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let the motherfucking channel grow, dog. I'm going to see how people like it. How you feel it. But, uh, when I got there, man, they made all of us motherfucking, they was like, they had like a floor of, of, of checkers. It was like a checkerboard, a checkerboard floor, black and white, big though. So they made everybody sit in their own square, dog. And then they asked you where the fuck you was from. And when they found out you was from a big city, a big city, I mean, <laughs> a big city. <laughs> that shit was funny. A big city, my mouth dry as fuck. But yeah, when they found out you was from a big city, like the D, Chicago, Chi Town, as they call it, New York. I ain't really care for y'all motherfucking New York niggas. A little too motherfucking uh, flashy and trying to motherfucking uh, draw too much attention to your damn self, dog. When you really didn't even have that style, but you know what I'm saying? Um, whatever, dog. I had a lot of motherfuckers from New York hating on me, dog. You know what I'm saying? You'll find that out when you go places, man. What cities motherfucking click and what cities don't. Like, Chi Town and D niggas click. Toledo uh, and D niggas, we click. Um, um, Tennessee niggas, we clicked, you know what I'm saying, Louisiana niggas, you know what I'm saying, we clicked, you know what I'm saying, some Cali niggas, we clicked, you know what I'm saying, and uh, Atlanta niggas, we clicked, kind of schooled a nigga at the same time, you know what I'm saying, because um, they could be motherfucking, uh, Atlanta niggas, man, they come from a lot, bunch of other places sometimes too, man, so, them cats can be a little bit of motherfucking uh, uh, um, misleading, man, you know, um, they can come one way, man, and, uh, and come a whole nother way on you. But anyway, uh, Atlanta niggas, we was all right. And uh, uh, Mississippi niggas, wasn't all right. You know what I'm saying? Started all right. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got jealous. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, though, man, let me bust this back down, man, to the, the day one, dog, up in motherfucking basic motherfucking training when all these motherfuckers try to scare the dog shit out of your ass. By pulling your ass motherfucking to the side when they found out you was from a big city, man. And they rode you. They rode you, dog. They stayed on you. Because they knew that everybody was going to follow your lead, man. You know what I'm saying? I had a certain style about me, man. I had a certain grit about me, man. I had a certain motherfucking uh, 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 privilege about me, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, actuality, dog. I told somebody this, man. When people used to muffin me slick, man, and, and call me um, 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 something other than a black man and shit when I was a youth and shit, um, I really didn't go through that, dog. Other than from my peeps. You know, we called each other niggas. You know what I'm saying? What up, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Or what up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? That kind of shit. But um, not nobody out of my race. I didn't go through that, man. I didn't get to have nobody calling me uh, colored or, or um, um, nigger or anything like that, man. You know, because my family, man, you know what I'm saying, fought for that, dog. You know, they protected me from that, man. You know what I'm saying? My mother and father, man, protected me from all that. I didn't know nothing about that, man, until I went to the military, dog. That's when I found out about the racism. And the ignorance. And I went to a school uh, half uh, white too. And never went through that, dog, until I went into the military. When I went to the military, I found out what life was truly was about, dog. And it was um, a little too real for my black ass. Real talk, dog. But I stayed four years, dog. You know what I'm saying? I got dead smack in a war. We're going to get all to that shit, dog. You know? It's a journey to all this shit, dog. So it's Frank Nitty, baby, coming from my first day, motherfucking, um, um, how they call that shit in boot camp, your, your D-Day. D-Day, I think, is like motherfucking your last day or something. 
Somebody might want to correct me and shit, but it's been a minute, man. I don't know all that terminology and shit, but I remember DJ being, D-Day being some shit like that, dog. You know what I'm saying? Your last day. But uh, first day in boot camp, man. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucking rock get thicker, you know? Um, really like first moment because uh, the day get longer because all they do, man, is have you in lines getting checked for more medical, dog. More medical, more medical, more medical, more medical, more medical, more medical. That's like your first, probably your first motherfucking couple motherfucking um, weeks, dog. You just in line for more medical, more medical, more medical. Uh, get your hair cut. Everybody got to get the cue cut. Y'all know the routine. So, uh, all that, dog. Y'all, first day, baby. You know? And uh, we'll get deeper into shit, man. I'll let you know how all this shit popped off, man. From a perspective. From a brother from the D. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days, baby. You know what I'm saying? When shit first jumped off, man. All this motherfucking um, drugs. Um, popularity shit. Hip-hop. Um, 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 uh, 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 R&B going motherfucking... Uh, um, um, motherfucking um, you know, worldwide, you know, all that, man. The 80s, the 90s, baby. You know what I'm saying? The early 2000s. It's Frank Nitty, baby. Two T's like two titties. A real one, baby. You know what I'm saying? None motherfucking shady. I ain't got to come but one way, dog, and that's real. You know? And uh, all connected, baby. But, but definitely respected. Cause it's all about respect out here, man. It's all about how you conduct yourself in business, bro. So it's Frank Nitty. Two T's like two titties. Woody woo woo. Daddy Long Strokes. <laughs> they ain't gonna be able to handle it. Cause we gonna get deeper, my folks. I hit the Philippines three times. That's just to let you know. <laughs> I don't get around, dog. Holla.